So today I'm going to show you one of my new favorite suits that I have recently discovered. And it comes out of this cookbook that focuses on the foods of the Baltic region. And this soup has three main ingredients, sauerkraut, barley, and pork. So the first thing that I am going to do to prepare this soup is to uh, prepare the pork. And my pork is still in my freezer. So um, I got this cut recently when I was at the farmer's market. It conveniently says pork butt on it. And um, what we're going to do is essentially boil this in water for about 45 minutes. I am going to prepare this in my cast iron skillet here. Hopefully, this should be easy enough to get out of the packaging. It's the paper that always sticks like this. And if you can't get all of it off, if you have the same problem, usually it becomes loose enough after it's been boiled that it's not a problem. So to this, I am going to add about eight cups of water and essentially just cook it in, in this water. This is a great thing. If you have other things to do around the house, this is, you know, fairly straightforward cooking that you can just leave it, let it do its own thing and then come back to it and uh, go to the next stage of the soup. The other thing that I have done is I have taken barley. Um, this is a little bit like a, a cup and a half of barley and I have soaked it in water. Um, and then this, you know, you could do this overnight. You know, the recommendation of the cookbook is at least a few hours and then this will be um, put in the soup later on. So I'm going to let the pork do its own thing, and then I will be back for the next phase of the soup journey. The soup will also contain carrots and onions as well. So while the pork is um, being cooked at the moment, that is something that you could do uh, in the meantime. I mean, look at this carrot, it's, it's huge. So if you don't have uh, large carrots like this, certainly use two, um, that'd be fine. And I'm going to just dice them, um, barely small, but you know, I'm kind of lazy, so it's not gonna be incredibly small. And whatever root vegetables that you have around, you can certainly add that to the soup. Um, I think that this soup is pretty versatile and um, has like a homey feel. So if you happen to have cabbage or, um, 
you know, like a beef of some sort, that could even work as well. There's lots of ways that you can play with this recipe. One of the things that makes this soup quite unique, in my opinion at least, is the sauerkraut. This is the first soup that I have seen that actually utilizes sauerkraut. And I would say it's a, it's kind of a revelation to me, um, being able to use this ingredient in such a way. What I'm doing right now is I am just draining the sauerkraut and I just put it in a bowl and just press it with my hands just to get any of the excess liquid. Um, it's really a question of how acidic you want the sauerkraut in the soup. I tend to like it a little less acidic, but again, this is a personal preference and this is something that you could explore um, if you decide to make the soup yourself. So the pork has finished cooking and now we're going to assemble the soup. So the first thing that I need to do is um, I'm going to take the pork from my uh, Dutch oven and we're going to cut it up. But while I'm cutting it up, um, I'm going to also start the, the soup. I've already cut up my onions and my uh, carrots. And so I'm going to just add them to the pot. I'm going to use the same exact pot. I figured it has some of the, the flavor and the essence of the pork already in it. And I'm going to add just a little bit of um, butter to that and just get it a little tender before I add the pork. And an idea that actually just popped up in my head is um, I have a few other things that could go in the soup. So I think I'm going to use some celery um, because I have a lot of it. Lately, I've been using celery in my juices, so that's why I carry it. But I think celery could go well with the soup. Again, completely optional. Um, I have a hard time doing the same recipe twice because I always like to try different varieties and so forth. And uh, this is what I'm going to do this time. So while that is um, underway, what I am going to do now 
is essentially cut up this pork that we have here. And um, I want to cut it up into pieces that are, you know, of the size that you would want in a soup. So, you know, pretty bite-sized pieces. So now that I've cut up all of the pork, you can see um, quite a lot. And now I am going to add this to the soup. And it's fine if um, not all of it cooked during that initial cook because now I'm going to add water. It's going to have another opportunity to cook. Um, so, uh, you know, if you happen to have some pieces of the pork that are not fully cooked, don't worry. And now I'm going to add the rest of the ingredients. So we have the barley that has been soaked in water um, for a few hours now. I have some sauerkraut. Let's mix that in. So let's add um, some salt. Again, this is up to you how much salt and pepper you want. Let's add two cups of water. Probably three. Um, I had a slightly bigger pork roast than what the recipe called for, so let's just do a little bit more water. And then um, on top of that, let's get some bay leaves. I have some, some of them. Here we go. So I'm going to just put in three for now. And 
that's it. That's the base of the recipe. Obviously, I'm going to bring this up to a boil to just ensure that the pork is fully cooked. And, um, yeah, that's all you need to do. You can certainly add more spices, but this is, um, again, a very rustic recipe that does not um, require much. The pork provides a lot of flavor inherently. Um, so, yeah, you can certainly add other things like the, the spices that come to mind is maybe like fennel seed, maybe mustard seed, something like that. Anyway, I'm going to let this do its thing on medium heat for about 30 minutes or 40 minutes, a little bit more. Um, and then it will be dinner time. So the soup has been uh, cooking for about 30 or 40 minutes now and uh, I'm hungry and so I'm going to get myself a bowl and uh, enjoy the soup that I've made. It makes a large portion mainly because I couldn't, have, I couldn't find a smaller um, pork cut so I will have soup for the week it seems that's fine um, I can be lazy on other days then with cooking and um, yeah so let me know what you think about this recipe let me know if you try it out I really appreciate when you guys comment and let me know um, what you appreciate about these videos and certainly I love when you are sharing my content with your friends and family. And um, I hope to see you next time. Take care.